What's going on guys? So uh, today we're talking about the Settler's Wrench. I got a chance to finally use this. Um, some interesting experiences that I wanted to share with everyone, of course. Uh, so I got this tool in a uh, battle box and uh, about a week ago or so I got a chance to get out in the uh, woods and use it. So what I did was I wanted to create a, uh, a small project. Uh, I wanted to make a stand for uh, one of my trail cams. All right, so I want to actually set a trail cam in the bushes where there are no trees. So I couldn't just do the, you know, wrap it around the tree thing. I wanted to actually make my own stand so I can mount it and shove it in the ground pretty much anywhere. So it's a really simple project idea. All right, I got one long stick and it was from a down tree. Um, actually, it was a very large down tree, and when it came down, it broke a couple smaller saplings. So I took one of the saplings, um, and from there, I cut that into two smaller pieces. All right, just did a very rough chop on the bottom, so I have somewhat of a point. I can go back and actually carve that so it's a little sharper, but again, so that this could be, you know, pushed down into the ground, hammered into the ground if necessary. And uh, I wanted to use these two posts just like this next to each other and cut a couple pegs that we're going to basically attach them all right so these are cross members for stability all right so that was the plan right so it was a very simple first project where i just need these two pieces of wood i wanted to make you know two pegs obviously double-sided and i wanted to drill the holes you know in the side of the wood here i wanted to put one towards the top and one down a few inches here and then again mount the trail cam somewhere in the middle of the two pegs so <laughs> I made uh, I made a couple mistakes, which is good because my mistakes is a the learning curve maybe helps some of you guys out there who either already have the tool or might be interested in getting the tool. It can save you some heartache and some trouble. Um, now, if you look at the website, I don't know if it's on BattleBox's website, but it is on the original website from the company that sold these settlers wrenches, and it suggests that number one, the wood is green wood which just was, again, this was a sapling that was knocked down naturally, you know, could have been more than a month ago. Um, but number two, it was recommended to be used on soft wood. And I'm no tree expert, but I'm pretty sure that this is oak, uh, by looking at the bark here, and oak, if you don't know, is a very hard wood. So the problem that I had was when I was drilling these holes, it just wouldn't bite enough. It just either wasn't sharp enough or because the wood was so dense and so hard, it's really not meant for a harder wood like this. All right, so I was not able to complete the project uh, and I wanted to just make this video and go over, you know, basically why. So if you haven't seen this uh, tool before, it comes in a nice little sheath, which did work out very nicely. All right, and you can see it's basically two tools in one. It's a giant drill bit, which is used by hand. All right, so it's the, the top part here works kind of like a T-handle. So you had a good grip on it. And then of course you can put a smaller stick through it uh, for more leverage, which I did end up doing. That didn't actually help at all. Um, and that, it helped get started because I could not do it by hand. But anyway, so you have a giant drill bit, which you know drills holes, all right? And then the other side makes pegs. So what you're supposed to do is get a piece of wood that has a diameter that's only slightly larger than this cutting bit, all right? And then the top part, you know, you hammer down and it's basically chiseling and cutting this uh, cylindrical piece, which is obviously the same diameter as the drill bit. All right, so you make pegs here, you make holes there, and they all fit together. All right, so you can do these different bushcraft uh, projects. Now on a quick side note with these pegs, I wanted to keep the bark on just so it looked nice. Uh, it doesn't serve any other purpose and just kind of looking, you know, more finished. Uh, but what I found was once I made, you know, the cut, on top, you know, obviously came down, made the perfect peg, uh, and then all around here basically splits off. Okay, so you have all this, the bark and stuff that's kind of split away from where it's cutting. So what I ended up doing because it was so cold out is I said, well, who cares about presentation? I just want it to be functional. And I actually just grabbed each piece of bark and I pulled it off and basically peeled it like a banana. All right, so it was all pushed out like this. So I came down and just, you know, peeled it the whole length of the peg. Because the center part doesn't really matter, I just need those both ends to be, you know, obviously the exact size for the holes it was going to drill. So, anyway, um, in using the tool, the tool absolutely did work. Uh, even though I wasn't really supposed to use it on a hardwood like oak, uh, it cut totally fine. It did not really take that much pressure to actually push this down and bite into the wood. Uh, all my problems came from trying to drill it. All right, so when I came in, all right, you can see there's a center bit here which you can kind of baton into the wood to get it started. 
All right, and then as you start turning, you can see, you know, it's gonna start to bite and cut in with this giant drill bit. Um, and as you can see from the results here on both, both pieces, I could not get further than that, all right? And that is not only by hand, so, you know, I was using hand pressure to try to drill, but then I also went back and, you know, put a large stick through here to try to get more leverage. And I was able to get more leverage, but it just would not bite. And I was pushing down very, very hard. All right, so I can only contribute this to one of two things. Either the actual drill bit is just not sharp enough um, and or the, uh, the wood is just too hard. It's not specifically meant for such a hard wood like oak. So overall, the tool does work. I was just not able to finish my project because of my uh, lack of remembering the proper procedure, which should be used a softer wood. I did remember it had to be green, but that was only half of the picture. It obviously could not muscle through, you know, this harder wood here. Um, as far as the cutting edges on both the bits, or excuse me, the bit part here, as well as this edge here, they're both sharp enough where it should work. And again, I'll revisit in the future with a softer wood and see if that is in fact the case. Uh, if I did dull out, you know, this portion here, which looks like there's a couple little, couple little, uh, you know, dents around the edge. And again, they could have just been forcefully putting this, you know, through some harder wood, but I know how to sharpen a round blade. Actually, I have a video on that. If you're interested in seeing it, it's not that difficult. Now, something else that's worth mentioning is I tried this without gloves specifically to see if these exposed sharp edges that you're actually holding onto would be an issue. Because clearly there's a safety concern uh, when you're using the drill, you're starting off by hand and you have an exposed blade, which you can easily rest your hand on or, you know, slip and cut yourself. There's a lot of potential there to accidentally cut yourself by, you know, doing this by hand and then vice versa. Even when you're just kind of holding this, you know, to punch through and baton through, you're again holding the actual cutting edge. It seems kind of strange. It's like using a knife handle for something and then holding onto the blade. Um, even without using gloves, I didn't cut myself. Uh, it was a little uncomfortable um, at some point because I was really digging down on here even before I used the branch. And I was kind of really pushing on this edge, but it's not like a razor blade. Um, I would recommend using gloves for this tool, but you know, just sharing my experience, I did not use gloves and I did not cut myself or anything. And I was struggling uh, to use this because I was using the wrong wood. So overall, I mean, my experience with it was uh, a little bit neutral. I think it's really cool. I wasn't able to finish my project just because, again, I forgot about the, uh, the type of wood you're supposed to use. And that's something else too. You have to have some kind of knowledge. Uh, I'm no expert at all in you know, wilderness survival or I'm not an expert in trees. Uh, I have all kinds of guidebooks and different references, but it's just something that I wasn't conscious of. I was doing multiple projects at the same time, went out in the woods. I thought, oh, it's a great opportunity to you know, use the, uh, the settler's wrench and just literally grab the sapling that happened to be already destroyed. So I figured I can recycle it and use this little project. Uh, so you do have to have some kind of knowledge of trees to be able to grab the proper wood uh, for using this tool. So that's definitely worth noting. Uh, but besides that, it was, it was still kind of fun. Like I said, I'll use some power tools, finish the project, uh, and I'll do another one in the future with the proper softer wood. Uh, but if you happen to get one of these in a battle box or if you just bought this on your own, I'd love for you guys to come back and let me know what kind of projects you did with it and or, you know, if it worked out for you. Unfortunately for me, uh, because I picked the wrong type of wood, it just didn't work out. It made the cuts totally fine, but I could not drill. I mean, I really, really tried on both different pieces here. Uh, I just was not successful with it. Anyway, just want to give you guys an update on that and my experiences so far. Uh, I will be doing this again in the future once I can find the proper wood to do it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.